Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. We're really excited to be back again, have everybody here. Today we're focusing on our Center for Functional Nanomaterials, and it's also an excellent opportunity to get students excited, children excited about science. Nanoscience is the study of physics, chemistry, material science, biology, medicine, mathematics, as well as engineering, all of the sciences, but at a specific length scale called the nanoscale. You took one hair off the top of your head and stretched it out, and cut that into roughly 100,000 individually equally sized pieces, one of those would be roughly a nanometer. Different phenomena can be tuned, can be altered, can be dramatically changed just as a function of the size at this length scale. And allows us to apply uh, those materials into devices like energy storage devices, like supercapacitors, automobiles, and, and other types of vehicles. What we have right here on the tape is just graphite, like what you find in your pencil. Graphene is a form of carbon that's been predicted to be really special, at least since the 60s, but uh, it's only recently they figured out how to make it. This is what your computer is made out of now. This is a piece of silicon. If I tried to bend it at all, it would just shatter. You can take a uh, sheet of graphene, make a computer out of it, and do this. Crumple it up, and then uncrumple it, and it would still work like a computer. Not only that, you can only make circuits out of silicon, make them go so fast. Uh, with graphene, you can make it much, much faster. So despite knowing since the 1960s that this was an important thing to do, it took uh, scientists until 2010 to figure out how to do it. And the two scientists who did it won the Nobel Prize. And they figured out that scotch tape had just the right amount of stickiness to take these sheets and peel them off from each other but not so sticky that you can't peel them off from the scotch tape and put them on something else. And we're going to peel it off, we're going to make it thinner and thinner with many, many pieces of scotch tape. And then, even though it's only one atom thick, we can actually see it with our eye using a microscope. FIB is an acronym for Focused Ion Beam. In this case, what we use is a beam of gallium ions to strike a material and slowly etch away, slowly carve away at the material. It allows us to do very fine lithography or writing of different patterns onto a surface or onto a substrate. And you imagine the little Y on a penny. The size of that Y is about a millimeter. So as we were zooming in and zooming in and zooming in onto that name, that name was roughly 100 nanometers in diameter. It's, it's about 10,000 times smaller than the smallest feature in that little Y. It allows us to down to a few nanometers resolution, very fine resolution, draw in exactly the electronic pattern or the structural pattern that we need to act as an architecture, as a scaffold, as a support for things like photovoltaics. We're showing the kids how you can design DNA to self-assemble into various structures. Um, everything from a smiley face, which is more of a proof of principle uh, demonstration, uh, also making functional devices and uh, things that can be used for nanomedicine. So this would be um, an example of a segment of double-stranded DNA. So if you wanted to build a house, you would use wood and bricks and cement. Uh, but if you want to build a house on the nanoscale, DNA is an excellent choice. And so what we can do is form things like um, a box structure out of double-stranded DNA, and we can put drug molecules into the box and then have the lid open um, when the box enters a certain environment or some external trigger. And so if your body is making a certain protein uh, which leads to some degenerative disease, you can um, use these tetrahedron molecules, uh, inject them into the body, and then um, turn the gene off by, by having the RNA side strand silence the gene. For us, this is really a, a crucial activity because it allows us to 
jumpstart the interests and curiosities of young people. It's an opportunity for us to show people a new and emerging area of, of science and technology, nanoscience and nanotechnology, to give them a, a very early sense and, uh, and comprehension of what that actually is and how their lives might be touched by the things that we're doing. Thank you.